Hello everyone, my name is Sinistic, and you may be wondering, wow, what is this, Sinistic? Oh my god, uh, yeah, it's a speed draw of Amori. So I wanted to do a thing on my channel where I would draw fan art after each game that I play with, like, me in it, to, you know, feel like, hey, I'm commemorating the game because I played it on my channel sort of thing. I don't know, I thought it'd be a cool concept, and I really did want to do this with every game, but as you can see, I'm still kind of <laughs> far behind if you've been on my channel for a while, but don't worry, I'm sure I'll get up to speed <laughs> once I get caught up with the games that I played already so yeah this game or not this game this uh, video kind of serves as like a hey wow I played Amori and you know I want to talk a little bit about how I felt about Amori and stuff like that too because I know on the last video that I did for Amori which was like forever ago I like didn't talk about it too much so in this retrospect during the speed draw I, I sort of wanted to talk about the characters as I speak and as the speed draw goes on so um if you don't want to listen to that i think i'll post another video or another link that'll have me with no commentary if you just want to see the speed draw and that's totally chill but um regardless of that let's keep going okay everyone here we are so i know i i wanted to explain this in the last three minutes but i'll see if i can explain this now so my concept for this um fan art was that in amori once you get out of last resort or not once you get out of last resort once you go to do the top hat quest they have like an area where there's like a sh shoot ton of food and uh i thought it'd be cool if like you know there was a moment where amori gang was like whoa dude we gotta eat all the food and stuff like whoa and so oh oops i did not mean to hit the table um yeah so i wanted sort of this to be like that moment because i feel like this should have like i really do feel like there should have been a moment where everyone's like whoa oh my god there's so much food everywhere because that's not how that's how i literally felt when i saw all that food on the table so okay with that concept out of the way now i can kind of hopefully explain some of the drawing methods, I guess. I don't know. I mean, like, I'm just drawing shit. <laughs> so, like, like it may not be good. It may not be great. I don't think it's that bad. Well, I mean, uh, it could probably be better. But, you know, it's whatever. I think the more important thing is that I did it and that, like, it's, like, sort of a remembrance to me playing the game. But, um, yeah, uh, I guess, like, what can I say about the food area? Uh, the food part was, like, cool. Um, obviously, yeah, I think out of all the foods that I've drawing here um the sandwich the hero sandwich is probably my favorite because it actually looks the most appetizing um i know i sort of use a lot of heavy lines when i uh draw this like i know it's like all black and then color it kind of reminds me of um that one game if you like called i think i don't remember what it was called i think it was like called Maisie's playhouse or something like i don't know if y'all know the tv show called Maisie. i don't know if it was actually called Maisie, but there was a main character who his name was Maisie, and she was like a mouse and like her, every time from what i remember like the the lines on that show were very like also kind of blackish drawn like this so the food here kind of reminds me of just that even though that was not literally my intention i'm just kind of commentating this as i go so uh okay yeah the jelly oh yeah i like the jelly jelly was fun to draw um yeah drawing the food was cool uh i i think i already said that my favorite one would probably be hero okay probably be hero sandwich jelly uh probably not the sushi i probably could have done a better job with the sushi but you know it's what whatever <laughs> it's, uh, it's too late <laughs> it's, it's fine um but uh yeah uh they were doing this was fun i like had a fun time doing this and it was chill <laughs> okay i realized i could probably be talking about the game um i i should have probably put my or thoughts and organize this a little bit better but maybe i'll put it in the description but uh yeah no i love amori like i think it's such a great game if y'all haven't played it or watched my playthrough of it then i would say definitely like give it a chance because i do think it's a, it does such a good job story-wise of telling like the story of like a Morian gang and you know it's just it's i it, it probably deserves its own like different 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 video besides me doing the fucking speed draw uh probably should stop swearing as much god darn <laughs> um but yeah no it was definitely like a really fun and uh very thought-provoking game um okay yeah now look at me copying all like the freaking <laughs> the little food stuff here oh you know what else i didn't say i know okay i after looking at this twice not twice but like looking after it again i realized that the cheese would probably not be on the bottom of the meat and the meat would probably be like it'd probably be like bun uh cheese lettuce or no lettuce cheese and then meat like i just realized that like the cheese probably wouldn't be at the bottom but anyway <laughs> that's what it, that's no, no, neither here nor there um oh i forgot to mention this sorry pin pass part but it was also i got frustrated on that one part where i was trying to add black pepper slash salt to the french fries oh man yeah good times good times uh 
Yeah, no, just I like I love the different foods in here though too. They're so prettily better drawn than what I have here. I do think it's interesting that like it's like oh how did Mari come up with all of this just off the fly? Especially the jelly part. I'm just like dude Mari like where did you even get that? We're like in the middle of a whale right now. But okay, it's fine I guess. Okay, moving on to Amori. Yeah, uh, the main character himself. Um, yeah, I really like Amori as a main character. I think he's definitely a good case study for us to, you know, hop on the shoulders of and see his problems and how he de deals with them and whatnot. I think it's just so interesting how the game showcases, like, how, like, what feelings that he's supposed to feel on the inside, and then we get the big reveal later on. Uh, yeah, no, I really like him as a main character, and man, that's a shitty- Oh, okay, I'm, I'm fi I fixed it, okay. <laughs> so to say, like, that looks really bad. If I wasn't actually drawing this, I'd probably think, wow, that part of the drawing looked really bad, so I'm glad I fixed that. Um, actually drawing him? Um, okay, when I was first drawing Amori here, I was thinking, man, I gotta, like, get this perfect. I gotta make sure is symmetrical and you know all that fun shit well it would not swear uh basically i wanted to make sure he was like symmetrical i guess and so this is me trying to make sure he's symmetrical um yeah no i really i remember drawing this and thinking yeah i really need to draw him at least right because he's like the simplest one to draw out of all of them because he is only like black and white so uh, i think Okay, oh, yeah, no, I'm still working on it, but I think it's, it'll turn out okay. Oh, yeah, no. Ah, uh, yeah, no. I, I think I had I had this problem in Photoshop. It, was, it wasn't even Photoshop. It was just me, where it's like I draw, but then, like, I, my pressure point on, like, my tablet, <laughs> it, it wouldn't, like, technically fully... When I would erase, like, it wouldn't erase everything. It'd do, like, this half-weird erase thing, and so that's why I have all those, like, lines right there on his hands, which is what those are. Those are, those are mistakes, everyone. <laughs> so let's just erase all my mistakes away. But as a character, though, um, yeah, no, I really like the different variations of him we get to see in headspace and in not headspace um i guess the only complaint i have is that i wish i would have gotten to see more of what happened like later in the game like i'm not i don't really want to spoil this so basically i would like to see more but i know the game was trying to go for more like subtle uh hinty sort of feel through everything which i think is still pretty cool but i don't know there's a part of me that's just like man just I want to see the argument of all things. Okay, moving on to Basil. Oh man, what about Basil? Uh, I don't know. I have this weird thing with Basil that I feel like I don't like him as much. Maybe it's because I feel like he doesn't really do anything that that much in Amor, and he just kind of is like the, you know, person that we just have to rescue, and he's just kind of there. Oh my gosh, yeah. Literally, when I was drawing him at this point, y'all, I was thinking, man, he kind of looks like Isabel right now because I'm like drawing the little like <laughs> his hair sides just look like Isabel sides, but not my intention. I just noticed that when I'm looking at this right now. Anyway, back to Basil. Um, yeah, you know, I think it's probably because you only get to see him at the beginning of the game and like at the end of the game, so I feel like I don't have that much of a strong connection with him like as a character. Cause to me, like the way I looked at him more from what I remember, I just feel like okay if he made you know if he like did some better and more improved and informed decisions as a character then we really wouldn't have the game of Amori but I obviously he needs to like do all those decisions so that Amori the game can happen but I don't know it just makes it for weird as a character because because you I feel like playing the game you really like you really want to like you know help it but then sometimes i'm just like okay once everything is revealed i'm just like dude i can't like I, it's hard for me to like you as much because of like the way that you're acting but i mean i get it because of all the spoils and reveals by the end of the game but i don't know man i, I just i guess basil just not isn't necessarily my favorite character but he was fun to draw though <laughs> uh what else what else um I think I like drawing his hair. His hair is fun to draw. You know, the one thing I do like about Basil is that he has like teal hair and I think the teal hair is pretty. Um, I don't know if I draw a flower crown. I don't think I draw a flower crown on him in this picture, but I should have though. Uh, yeah, no, I think him as a character is just interesting and it's just like kind of there, but I don't necessarily connect with him that much as a character but you know it is what it is i just i just feel like they try to place him as like oh you are like amori's best friend but at the same time it's like because he just doesn't hang out with us i feel like man he really isn't our like our best friend which i know is probably the intention of the game but like even with everything revealing i just feel like i wish i you know would like like him more because <laughs> i feel like I, at this point for me he's just kind of like ah oh, he's like cool and then you know they figure shit out and then shit gets figured once sh once stuff gets figured out it's like okay cool basil you're chill it's like you're chill by the by like by time's end but then like before that it's like okay dude you're just kind of here but then again this is just me remembering from like my brain so 
Yeah. Um, yeah. Look at him. Look at him go. Look at Basil go. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, you know what it is? I think it's because, like, Basil's supposed to be Amori's best friend. I think we just need more flashbacks and then just being best friends together, and that probably would have helped me. Ah, oh, moving on to friendship. Let's talk about Aubrey. Oh, man. Aubrey is a great character. I really, really like her. Um, I think she just brought a lot of energy and spunk. Like, honestly, everyone in the Amori gang is, like, really likable, and I, like, have no problems with any of them, really. But, uh, yeah, no, I really liked Aubrey's character in both versions, and... I really like her relationship with Amori in both versions. So I think it's just a very interesting way to talk about, or not talk about, it's like it's an interesting thought to think about like her relationship with Amori and like everyone else in the game. She just brings like a really good energy and also like she's the only, oh not she's the only, there's Mari. But um, because I was like drawing Amori and Basil, I was just like, oh thank god now I can go to drawing Aubrey. Cause I think in my, I guess for me, I, it's for, I think it's easier to draw like ladies. Um, I don't know why. I just feel like I just I do a better job in drawing girls than I do with guys. But I don't know. They both. I guess they all three of them look okay so far. But um, yeah, Aubrey's really cool. I think she's a dope character. Uh, yeah. I also think her relationship with just everyone in the group is also very fun to watch. Uh, especially like her interactions with Kel. Oh my gosh, I did not say that right. <laughs> her interactions with Kel and that they always banter. I like watching them banter, especially because Amori doesn't do that much dialogue in the headspace. But outside of that too, she's also very fun. Um, I wish I can draw that version, but for now I'm just gonna stick with this. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be planning on drawing more Amori anytime soon, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, no, uh, drawing her was fun. Like I, I really just... <laughs> enjoy drawing long hair anime style things women's or whatever it just feels fun to draw because it feels like oh this actually looks kind of decent <laughs> i guess yeah see like i feel like in comparison even just looking at the three i'm just like yeah no aubrey just looks so much better <laughs> but um yeah no uh oh my gosh dude the hair oh my gosh the hair is a doozy of a journey yeah okay also my favorite part of this whole entire piece is doing the crayon hair for all the characters who have crayon hair i just love doing that process because at first i was like how the hell am i gonna do this but then i'm like okay you know what how i'm just gonna just throw a bunch of colors and paint and just see if it looks like a crayon texture and eventually i think yeah no yeah yeah i'm getting to it like i don't know how you're supposed to do that effect actually in photoshop so i just kind of guessed and just did this because i felt like okay you know what this is close enough people oh people will get what i was going for okay i did not mean to hit the table oh well i guess it's fine but yeah oh man see look at her ah, i just i love the hair I, like i do i do it this for also for kel and hero and mari but just seeing it as it's happening just makes me appreciate that portion of the piece too yeah, especially because you don't even see the bottom of her hat, so I don't even bother drawing the bottom, so that's always fun. Oh yeah, Justin Amori. Oh, oh my gosh, yeah, no. <laughs> now he does look like, he looks like he has baby arms, but um, yeah, no, Aubrey, Aubrey, Aubrey. Aubrey is a cool character, and I like really like her a lot, so. Oh, oh dude, yeah, no, now I add another effect, that I think that makes it look more crayon-like. Oh, oh, oops, yeah. So I also started working on Kel a little bit here, too. I, I don't know where the footage went, where i started drawing kel initially so i i apologize for not having that it just i don't know it disappeared in my computer i guess my computer just freaking ate it so yeah i think i think i, I thought of a new effect that i wanted to put on with the crayon hair as i would call it so uh, this is just me just figuring out <laughs> what colors would kind of match with the original thing again still my favorite part of the process of just drawing like in, in this picture for amori so okay moving on to kel oh man kel is just like He's great too. I, he's so funny and he's just the good relief for everyone in the group and especially for Mori as like a friend. I mean, to be honest, I think Kel is like the best homie for Mori than anyone, than even like Basil in this whole game. Cause he's like literally, he, okay. Again, I don't want to spoil too much, but yeah, no, he, he, I think is like the number one homie in this whole game. Like, like, like I think I just, I appreciate his actions so much in Headspace and in um real time or in the other, you know, other space. But uh, yeah, no, drawing him was fun. Like, I think I had a big 
or not big. I had a hard time thinking about uh, what I wanted to pose for him as. Because I know I want him to just eat all the food on the table. Because I feel like that's something Kel would do do and like draw <laughs> when I was drawing it. So basically that's what I was trying to do. So yeah, I think it came across okay. Especially because I didn't even need to draw the rest of his body. Because he was going to be covered by like hamburgers. So it wouldn't be too bad to have him draw or draw him for the rest of the time. Yeah, okay. Here I am just trying to figure out how to get him behind all the food. <laughs> oh, you know what another thing was? Before I even colored Amori, I didn't realize all the other characters were like white, like pale white like Amori, but as I was drawing this, I ended up realizing that. Okay, moving on to Hiro. Oh man, the best boy this whole entire game. Honestly, I think Hiro might be my favorite character. He's just such- he's like the homie plus the bay plus the support just mixed in one i'm just like dude he's literally the best thing of like mori <laughs> like we stand like i stand hero so much he's literally just like the, the healer and he's just like you know the mediator and he just he just brings good vibes and responsibility like like and in come in variation with um kel and Kel and Aubrey's bickering. There you have Hero just to, you know, like be like the heh person of the whole group and just like the hey guys, let's just, you know, get back to normal. Like, I think he just, he really just is like a cool character overall. Uh, even like in both versions, even though I don't think he really changes that much from headspace to other space, but either way, it's just like whenever Hero on screen, whenever Hero is on screen, is like, oh man, I never have a bad time. Uh, he just, <laughs> he's just so cool. Like I like, uh, it's like I, it's like I love Hero, but also I feel like he also gets like the um. Not even but, I just think Hero's pretty awesome. Like, out of all the Mori characters, like, I'm not gonna- Like, honestly, like, Hero, I think, is, like, my favorite one. Uh, another thing, though, is that I, I think Hero- Yeah, Hero is supposed to be that support role, but there, I think I also feel like- I feel bad for him a lot because I think he was affected a lot by the events that tra transpired in Amori, and it just- Oh man, I did not draw his hands very well. <laughs> uh, but I think the pajamas look okay, I guess. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I, d I think um, back in my early days of drawing, I'd have a hard time drawing just spiky hair on like dudes because I just think I would just make it look really bad. <laughs> so even here on here, I don't think it's that bad. So I'm pretty proud of myself that it doesn't look that bad, <laughs> I guess. So, uh, okay, yeah, moving on to the actual drawing of him. Um... Yeah, no, I'm still very bad when it comes to drawing figure hands, and I- It's like- it's like something I need to work on, but like, I just- I just haven't learned it yet. Okay, yeah, moving on to his hair. Again, still like, the best part of this whole process is just figuring out, like, colors and people's hair. It's just- it's so much fun just to like, br like, shoot out, like, the appropriate colors and then just put the effect on it, because it's like, ah, magnifique. Oh yeah, his stripes. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I remember thinking like, oh yeah, he has stripes on his pajamas. Oh shit, I should probably put them on. Yeah, here we go. There I go. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, Hero as a character, I just... I have like no problems with him at all. Like, I know I already gushed about him like a little bit before, but he really is like the the heart. <laughs> not even- well, no, 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 okay, let me- I don't want to say that. Omori is probably the heart of Omori, because duh. But like, I just- I think Hero just is like the bee's knees of the whole game, so... Okay, moving on to- oh, Miss Mari. Okay, the lady of the majority of the hour. Uh, yeah. Mari's fun. Like, I like the character that they present um, throughout the game, whether it's like the old version or the new version. Uh, I think it's interesting to see- I think it's interesting to see how Amori- Amori's relationship with her, because I think it's just- again, I don't- I, I really don't want to spoil anything and I'll stop saying that because that might be annoying, but yeah, no, I just really like how her relationship with Amori is defined and I would have loved to see more of it, like honestly. I think- seen Mari at like the picnic t picnic basket table it's like every time you would finish like an area I think like it's like oh man she's always like there to reheal us and blah 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 I think as a play like like I know the effect for Mori is that we're supposed to feel like oh man yeah we're here seeing Mari again and it's like oh I also felt that oh yeah Mari's here to help us feel all good and stuff but to think that like that feeling of just like oh man at home with Mari like played way more into the whole game of Omori was just really interesting uh, yeah, drawing her, um, was interesting. Um, I don't think I had the biggest problem with her. Then again, I also ha I also, like, was referencing, like, the different images in Amori here, as you can see as I flash back and forth, so it's not like it was super hard to draw or anything, but still, I I'm still, like, proud that it doesn't look 
that bad, but um, yeah. Oh yeah, she even had the purple jacket too. Or not jacket, cardigan or sweater or whatever. Yeah, she was fun to draw. Again, same thing. Okay, moving on to- oh my god. <laughs> Me! <laughs> oh man, um, was I hard to draw? No, I am like never really that hard to draw as a character um uh, initially like that's that's not even the reason why like i have me as like my sprite like this because like i didn't draw it that way because it would be easy to draw i just drew because that's what came to me when i think of sinistic but um yeah no i just like the idea of including myself in the characters like you know image like image end card or something because it makes me feel like hey i was there playing it even though i know like this is literally the purpose of why i'm doing this so it just makes me feel like oh yeah i was there <laughs> which i don't know if it sounds lame or not but i don't know i still really like it oh yeah i need to add the sparkles and all the cute little fun stuff here oh oh yeah i forgot the plate yeah i was just like oh shit i should probably put that back in yeah there i go editing the plate back in at least to make it more complete the actual image of this whole thing okay yeah uh one of my um friends pointed out that my hand was wrong so here's me trying to fix it and i know it's not great but i tried this is for you friend okay anyway yeah that was the process of speed drawing mori uh thank you for watching